In January of 2014, Madison Holleran took her own life. A middle distance runner at the University of Pennsylvania, Holleran looked like the model student athlete, but in reality, she was struggling to adapt to an Ivy League school. Kate Fagan has written a new book about Madison Holleran's life, looking at the factors that may have contributed to her suicide. It's titled, What Made Maddie Run? Kate joins me right now. This is just such a tragic story. What made you want to go report it? Well, I actually felt like I had a lot in common with Madison. I'm certainly not, luckily for me, the extremes of like dealing with depression or any sort of brain chemical change. But I mean, I played hoops at the University of Colorado and I had dealt with a lot of anxiety. I tried to quit. I was really shocked at the transition from high school to college and how difficult I found it. I felt like there were so many pieces of this story that mirrored my own and I wanted to look into it further to see if there was anything like I could explain on a broader platform about why this happened. From the outside, Madison seemed like she was doing really well in her life, yet to yep. her family and friends, she was very vocal about how much she was struggling. Could they have seen this coming at all? <sighs> That's like the toughest question. It's the one I know that they ask themselves every single day after this first happened. I mean, and I've tried to learn a lot about suicide and speaking to so many professionals. I mean, you can always look in the rearview mirror and say, like, I could have done something else. And the one thing I learned in this process is, like, it's not as if someone just has their mind set up months or weeks in advance and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, there is hope up until the moment when, you know, somebody actually takes this act. So, but it, specifically for Madison, I mean, there are certain moments where you're like, well, could, you know, like, should she have gone back to Penn for her second semester? You know, I've talked to her dad and he's like, I wish I knew that she could have like taken a time out from Penn, like a hiatus and still gone back six months later. I was shocked when you write that the NCAA released some statistics that suicide ranks as the third most frequent cause of death for student athletes. Yeah. That's behind cardiac issues and accidents. Yep. I mean, is, are universities not doing enough to prioritize mental health of their student athletes? I think it's the next frontier where they can do more. And I think they know this. I mean, I just got back from the Big East Mental Health Summit, like first of its kind more athletic departments are realizing that they haven't done enough and that they need to do more. Athletic departments are starting to move in the right direction. And even that suicide number you mentioned, third leading cause for student athletes, it's, I always try to point out that that's lower than it is for the general population. Like student athletes are struggling more than they ever have with anxiety and depression. And the numbers from 20 years ago, they're higher. But for the general population, Student athletes are still lower and the numbers are growing across the board, but it, it's really it, it's a really tough time for young people for like a lot of different reasons.